Hi everyone and welcome to day 15 of the July colouring challenge. Today we are using Artex alcohol markers from the 40 pastel set that I've just received for review and haven't even tried them yet so this is going to be my first go with them. Now as you can probably tell from the sound of the audio this is a voiceover so I had massive problems with the audio on the video. I've got no idea why. It was a horrible sort of crackling, screechy sound. I don't know. It's, it was possessed. So I've had to um, remove that audio and do a voiceover after the fact. So this video is going to be slightly different. I've, I'll make some cuts and things like that. Uh, but I will try and explain what I was doing to the best of my ability. So I am going through all of the pinks that I can find and identify just by the caps and giving them a little swatch to try and get the colours that we need for that very vibrant pink actually that's on the inside lip of the conch shell that we have here as a reference. Now this one looked like a pink but it actually turned out to be a lavender purple so I don't think that the caps match their colours very well but I do need to do further uh, investigation on that. So these are the colours that we have to play with. Loads of peachy kind of colours, but again, are they going to be true peachy colours or are they going to be something different? I won't know until I swatch them. But the markers are really nicely made, actually. They've got sweet little scalloped edges on either side. They are double-ended and they are a bullet and chisel nib. So I will be reviewing them at some point, uh, probably after this challenge is finished. So you'll be able to see them a bit better. So I've picked out a sort of mid-pink. The brightest pink I thought that I could find in the set, it looked the brightest from the cap anyway, but the cap is a fair bit darker to be honest. And um, so I, I just did that for the main part of the pink bit. And then I found a lighter pink that I thought would look nice as a sort of blended look uh, as we come out to the edge of that lip. And then I discovered uh, a little bit of a deeper corally sort of peachy pink colour that I thought would do for the uh, shadow just on the inside and I think it makes all the difference just to put that bit of shadow in there and now I found a it's a very kind of dull very light yellow and I thought that that would look quite nice on the edge of the lip just to show that that sort of gradation from the very deep pink to the very light uh very shell, obviously it's shell like, it's a shell, but um, you know, that very light, not iridescent, I think you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just adding a few more layers in of the darker pink that I found just to increase that contrast with the shadows a little bit. And I found a bit of a deeper yellow, it's definitely on the uh, same colour family as the light yellow that I used, but it's just a shade or two darker. So I'm using that to outline what looks like on the reference photo, the darkest patches of the top of the shell. And obviously it's not going to be perfect and it's not going to be exact, but I'm just trying my best to, to mimic that really. So just using this to pull down some areas of white. Well, I'm leaving areas of white. I'm not explaining this very well, am I? Hopefully you can just watch the video and see what I'm doing. Um... But yeah, I wanted to leave those white areas as highlights. I will come back, back in with the white gel pen, obviously, uh, at the end, just to reinforce the highlights. But I thought it might be nice to leave the white in if possible. And then I'm just going over because it's great that you can layer alcohol markers and layer up the depth of colour. So I'm going over a few areas to make it a little bit deeper. And then I'm using this very light pastel yellow that I found to go over the white areas a little bit, make it look slightly softer. And I think this is that very light uh, peach colour that I was using first on the lip of the conch shell. Again, just to give a little bit of difference in tone. So it's not as dark as the colour that I used initially, but it's just giving that little bit more shape to this the areas of the conch at the top. I'm also adding a bit of that down into the stroke areas, um, just reinforcing that a little bit, trying to make them stand out a little bit more. Again here, I'm just dotting on some of the same colour over the top to make those layers a little bit darker and a bit different from 
the rest of it. Again, just trying to build texture and depth and, and things like that uh, as much as I possibly can. Putting it here and there, there's no real skill to it. Just trying my best to emulate what is on the reference photo uh, in such a small area. So here we go with the white gel pen. As you can see, there's some very bright highlights on the reference photo because it is a very glossy material, the inside of the shell. And I'm just trying to, again, mimic that. So I'm using some of the strokes that I see on the reference photo and some little bits that I just decided to <laughs> go wild on. So it's not, you know, it's not a reflection of any particular light source or anything fancy like that. It's literally just me putting white gel pen down. So again, just a few on the top of the conch. I keep calling it a conch. We don't call them that in the UK usually. I think it's like an American term or something. I don't know. But um, yeah, we could just call it a seashell, <laughs> plain and simple. And uh, yeah, so just adding that extra little bit of white here and there. And finally, we have to do the background. So I'm using the original lavender colour that I thought initially was a pink, but it's actually lavender. And just blocking that in. And then I found um, a bit more of a bluish purple. It's a bit darker that will just go around the edge. And I don't even have to blend it because I worked quite quickly. The lavender was still wet, so it blended quite nicely. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on day 16.